date is March 17th, 2015 at St. Patty's Day. We're here with Lisa who came to me. She's from Canada, Alberta, Canada. Yeah, we do get people who come from a long ways away. Lisa has a couple years history of colitis. No one knows why, correct? Yeah, right. You've had bleeding diarrhea. You lost blood. You lost about 80% of your blood at one point and almost died, correct? Right. And you have had di um, diarrhea to the point of dehydration. Yes. No one has been able to figure out what's causing this, correct? Correct. Okay. You also have, a, you had terrible pain up in this area here, your traps on both sides and the back of your low neck, correct? Right. No one knows why, but they're blaming it on TMJ. That's right. And even though they're blaming it on TMJ, open your mouth for us. It opens wide and straight. You can close it. Now we do know you grind. We do know you're under a lot of stress, right? You've right. had appliances and they haven't done much good, right? Okay, your diet's not the best. You've eaten wheat, you've eaten bread, oats, you've eaten gluten. We haven't gotten to the lessons of today yet, but mm -hmm. I, I want to hit you while you have some surprise with what we just did. Um, I asked you if you had root canals and you brought in your dental records, bless your heart, and you have two root canals. One is, in, one is in number 15 and the other is in number 19. And I just uh, checked the strength of some muscles on you, correct? And one of your leg muscles was extraordinarily weak, yes. correct? Bill, I may video you too. Awkward. And Bill, I actually, you saw this and I used you as a surrogate too. And when we had her touch tooth number 19, you noticed a huge change in strength, right? Oh, definitely. There was no doubt. You felt it yourself, correct? Yes. Okay. And I have your permission to video this, yes? This yes, is going do. to go on YouTube with your permission? Yes. Thank you. And your permission? Yes. Thank you. So what we just did, and you don't know what I did yet, but we did it, was I first injected a little bit of numbing medicine into tooth number 19. Mm -hmm. And then what happened to you? I lost all the pain in the back of my neck and my jaw. And you've had pain there 24-7, correct? Yes. 24-7 for years, yes. correct? Since the 80s. Were you shocked that this happened? Terribly so. I still don't have the pain. I mean, like right now, you still don't have the pain. That's I mean, right. and you're shocked that you lost it. But then, just a moment ago, you said something interesting to me about the dentist. You want to say it? Uh, yes. The last time I was at the dentist, I had the freezing to do uh, um, a filling. And I noticed at that time, too, that I didn't have jaw pain. And yep. I never really put it together. Not only jaw pain, you didn't have neck pain. That's right. The jaw and the neck pain disappeared, correct? Yes. And you didn't put it together. It took maybe me to do that, Yes, huh? it did. All right, now I wanted you to come over here, and I want to look at the expression on your face when you see something. That's tooth number 19. That's right there. So I want everybody to see what that organ that refers to, and I want you to Large read intestine. what that refers to. Large intestine. Large intestine, yep. right? Wow. What do you, wow. <laughs> what are your comments now? I didn't know teeth had anything to do with your, your organs. I know. Yeah. Is this a surprise to you? Oh, it's a huge surprise. I okay. knew the feet and, and yeah. we had pressure points. Let me show you also something here. This is tooth number 19. And here's what I want you to look at as well. Now, I hope I can get that on here. C is cervical. Cervical 5, 6, and 7. That means that's your neck. Come over here for lighting purposes, please. For lighting, for the fifth, so it's the lower C-spine down here where my finger is. That tooth is related to that spi those spinal segments. Oh, it any, has to. Any thoughts on what just happened to you? Oh, it was unbelievable. It matches. Yeah. Right? Turn your head to the right, to the left. Now, you had good range of motion before, but it's significantly better now, especially to the left side. And no pain. And no pain. And no pain. Bend your head back. That is even far better than when you came in, which yes. wasn't bad to begin with, and bend it down. And you can touch your chin to your neck, and no pain. Yeah, well, I had still a little bit, but I mean, it's nothing that, not even close. 90%, 95%? Gone, yes. Yeah, okay, yes. that's good enough for me. Yeah. All right, 
uh, for you and for the viewer. That, your root canal, a root canal is a dead tooth. It's in an acupuncture meridian, each teeth are related to acupuncture meridians. That meridian happens to be lung large intestine. That tooth antedated the onset of your terrible colitis. And it's in a total, it's in a terrific distribution, not only for the colon, but also possibly for all of your neck pain. Now, I didn't expect all the pain in your head to go away, the TM. Maybe the shoulders, yes, but not the TM. Additionally, you had an extraordinarily weak muscle in your leg. It's called the tensor fascia lata, which I was trained by chiropractors, and it's in a book is related to the large intestine. And what happened to that muscle? Um, it got strong instantly. Definitely. Really strong, right? Yeah. And even your husband was surprised by that too. Yes, he was. Okay. The point here is, I think I found a potential source. And when I find a source of a problem like yours, I don't do much more until the, the source or what we call the interference field or the focus of disturbance is addressed. This is a dental problem from my perspective now. And a root canal is a dead tooth. It's disrupting the flow of energy and harmonics in the large intestine meridian, which could be related to your colitis. I don't know for sure, but we won't know for sure until this is checked. As far as I'm concerned right now, you have an infection in that tooth, at least number 19 and I think number 15 as well, because it checked positive and I'm going to want you to go get that checked out. Are you willing to do that? Yes, I am. And um, this is something that I want to post on YouTube because I'm trying to teach lots and lots of people about this. Am I making sense to you? Yes, you are. It's and amazing, though. Amazing. And so you think, figure it's an infection. It's not the root canal that it could be the infection. It's that's both. Related. The root canal is a dead tooth. Let me ask you this. This will be in graphic terms you can understand. If I tied off the artery to your left ovary, would you want that dead organ to stay in your body? No. It's dead. The tooth is like an organ. It's got a blood supply. And if you destroy its blood supply, it's now dead and rotting in your body. So why, just, do, they, why do they leave it in there? Because they think it's more important for you to be able to chew with a dead tooth than it is for the potential problems of the root canal. And most dentists don't know that this is a problem. Most don't know. Hmm. There are wow. some enlightened ones who really do. I go looking for it. I'm not the one who does the definitive care. I'm the one who tries to pick it up and then I send you to a dentist. And in my case, I have the, I, I'm blessed to have my best friend, Silvano Sen, one of my best friends, who's my dentist. He gets the patients and he says, Rowan, I don't know how you do it, but when you tell me there's something there, you're right 90% of the time. Hmm. I'm going to try and get you over there. Okay? Okay. Thank you. And something about all the drugs you're taking. Uh, what were you saying? Um, for the last 30 years, I've been taking, I went to an oral facial pain clinic in Canada for my jaw for TMJ and they put me on a narcotic uh, nerve a nerve drug and for, for the last 30 years I've been on this and to think that it's just all related to a decayed or infected teeth for all the pain that I've been in is just it just blows my mind away that something as simple as this could have been fixed so easily and you've been using those drugs for all these years. Oh, and those it, drugs have toxic effects, right? Oh, the, the one I am on is a narcotic. I mean, oxy, oxy neo, oxycontin is the worst the drug that people talk about. Right, and then the NSAID drugs, non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs, they can tear holes in your stomach. Oh, yeah. We don't know if maybe that couldn't have been the cause of what happened to your uh, abdomen, right? Oh, I would think it'd be some. It has part of it. I mean, Could, thirty years of drugs. Yeah, yeah right. it's going to be horrible. Cortisone injections in the jaw, in the in the masseters, um, all the way down the neck. I've had Botox. Um, I've had acupuncture. Nothing has helped. All it does is mask it for very short periods of time, and then it's back again. Is it not unbelievably shocking that it could be something as simple as a tooth? It, it's so shocking, but it's so upsetting that something as simple as this is been 30 years of pain. And overlooked. Yes, very okay. much so. And the tooth, the root canal antedated, meaning it was put in before all of this stuff happened to you, correct? I, I would think so. Okay. I would think so. Probably one before and one after. 
One exactly. Yeah. One before and one after, because you had two. And yeah. I think that you my bottom me. one, I think, was the first one, and then then I had the top one. And the bottom one was the one we went for first, because that's in the, the large intestine meridian. Yep. The top one is in the stomach meridian, and you're checking positive there too. So you're yep. nailing your whole intestinal tract according to this German acupuncture model. Yep. Thank you for allowing me to photo you. Thank you.